Konnichiwa. Do you know Japanese language has three kinds of scripts? They are called hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Kanji is originally from China. This video is about interesting facts about some kanji used in Japan. You might have seen this kanji before. This kanji, hi, means three. Now, what do you think the meaning of the kanji, hayashi? It means woods. Then, what about this kanji, mori? It has more trees, so it means forest. Now, what about this kanji, onna? What do you think the meaning? Please choose out of one, two, three. Woman. What about this kanji? Argue. E araso. Looks familiar. Then, what does this kanji mean? Noisy. Hashimashi. Woman. Argue. Noisy. This kanji is read as midara as well. That means body. Wow. Actually, this kanji did not come from this image, but the image of a woman kneeling down with her two hands put together. Now, what about this kanji, otoko? What does it mean? Man. The kanji otoko is made of two parts. Rice field. Power. Then, what does this kanji mean? Deceive. Tabakaru. What about this kanji? Man, woman, and a man. Ridicule, tease. Naburu. What about this kanji? A woman, a man, and a woman. Flirt with. Naburu. What about this kanji? A woman and a man. A married couple. Meoto. This kanji is shutome, which means mother in law. The kanji has a woman on the left. What about the right hand side? So, oh, Shutome, the mother-in-law, is an old woman. Because this kanji means mother-in-law, the father-in-law should be like this, shouldn't it? But this kanji is not used for father-in-law. The actual kanji of father-in-law, Shuto, is this one. The top half of this kanji is pronounced Q. And Q is related to the other Q, meaning for a long time. So, the kanji shuto means man with whom you are relative with for a long time. Interesting. What about changing shutome, mother-in-law, like this? Better than these, aren't they? The next kanji is yome, which means a bride. 
the combination of a woman and a house. Then, somehow, the kanji for groom, muko, has the kanji woman on the left. And the right hand side means together. So, muko is the person who lives with the woman. As the kanji for bride is like this, and she takes care of the household and her family, the kanji for a groom could be like this, and he takes care of the household and his family as well, couldn't he? Let's have a quick look at the kanji history. The original form of kanji characters started being invented around 1300 BC during the Yin Dynasty in China. That means about 3,300 years have passed since then. The invention of kanji characters itself is wonderful, but now we are living in 21st century. Obviously, some of the kanji characters are not relevant to the modern world. According to the professor of linguistics, Atsuji Tetsuji, the reason why the kanji character for woman means one who kneels is that in ancient China, women were subordinated to men. No wonder these kanji characters look to be lack of respect to women. There are quite a few interesting kanji characters with a woman as part of it. Hate, devour, flatter. Slave, delusion, disturbance. Kanji for women are here. There's some more. Leisure, evil tactics, jealousy. Can you find the kanji for women? They are here. Basically, these kanji letters with the woman don't look nice, do they? How would they look if we replace the kanji for woman to the kanji for men? Groom, father-in-law, noisy, slave, unreserved, disturbance, flutter, jealousy, jealousy, hate, pleasure, devious, devour. They don't look nice, do they? In the 21st century, when some countries have very well-educated, powerful female leaders, these kind of characters really look out of date, and it is better to get rid of them, isn't it? One more interesting kanji. This one is pronounced yasui. And it means cheap. Oh my goodness. Actually, kanji used in Japan are not only from China, but some of them were made by Japanese people by combining some Chinese characters. Japanese people created kanji characters very flexibly and very creatively. So, it would be wonderful if Japanese people could change some out-of-date kanji characters to make the world more harmonious and caring. Let's make some new kanji characters. Let's start with the kanji for bride and groom. Let's put some positive kanji characters on the right-hand side. What about love? I Supporting each other. Tasuke au. My friend suggested these ones. Friend. Tomo. Smile. Emi. Fun. Gaku. Harmony. Wa. They are all happy and warm characters. The next one is kanji for wife. Tsuma. And husband. The kanji for wife has a woman at the bottom, 
And the top one is the pictograph of a hand grabbing something. So the whole image of this kanji is that a hand is grabbing a woman. On the other hand, the kanji for husband has the pictograph of an adult with a crown, meaning this person is mature enough to get married. For the new kanji of wife and husband, what about adding nakayoshi, which means good relationship? But we know the reality is wife is so busy with house chores, raising kids, working for income, looking after parents-in-law, being involved with the community. The house chores include cooking, doing dishes, laundry, hanging the washing, folding them, ironing, cleaning, shopping, mending, keeping household account, paying bills, etc., etc. On the other hand, the husband is expected to support his family financially by working for 24-7, which is impossible. Oops! We shouldn't forget LGBTQ plus people, should we? Now we know there are various types of love relationship. Yome and Muko, Tsuma and Oto are binary terms. So what about using a very neutral word like Tsureai or Patuna coming from partner? Instead of using the kanji of woman or man, what about using a kanji for person? The right hand side of this kanji could be trust, reliance, respect, heart, support, progress, grow, cooperate. There are lots of positive kanji characters to use. Another friend of mine shared her ideas. The first one has two people at the top and bottom part is do, which is part of the word byodo, meaning equal. The second idea is two people are surrounded by a circle. Looks fantastic. Going back to mother-in-law and father-in-law, what about the kanji for wisdom, or support and heart, or history, consideration, or maturity. There are lots of options. Let's finish with fun kanji quizzes. Somebody created very interesting kanji characters for fun. Can you guess what they are? The hint is both of them are manga characters. What about this one? The answer is Gundam. Now this one. The answer is Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Two more here. What about this one? Woman and decoration, which means makeup. Nowadays, men put on makeup on as well. So we can change this one like this too. Here is the last one. Women, 48, dancing, which means girl singing group, AKB 48. Let's make a movement of kanji innovation in Japan to match the 21st century. To make Japan cool. Yay! 
またねー。